Hello everybody, Steven with RC Innovations. I just here wanted to show you this trailer. It's pretty cool. WPL 116th. It's one of my designs that I've made. It doesn't actually uh, it's not actually 100 percent together right now. I'm still missing some stuff that I'm working on printing, but it's pretty cool. This is the car hauler trailer, and there's a lot of different things that come with this. A lot of things that you can do with it, like it is one complete kit. The whole thing, it's got fully functional jack, 3D printed. Every last thing on this is 3D printed. Even the tires, tires roll, everything works perfect. But it's quite a project to produce them. It's fun though. Here's a the jack, fully functional. It's actually got a little jack screw that slides it up and down in there. It's hard to do without the hand. I gotta have another hand. But, and then it's got a hole through the center right there that makes it tilt up. You pull it just like a pin on a real one, tilt it up and then put the pin back in it. And then it slides in the side. And then got the dovetail. And you got pins that hold it to the rails and then pins that go in here, pin that goes in there, pins there, pins there. It's kind of like a box design. Once it's all fully together it is stout. Pretty, pretty strong trailer. Especially for 3D printed that's one thing I always have to take in consideration is just a full 3D printed design, you don't get the strength you do out of metal if you don't reinforce and know how to reinforce. Like I got a, <clears throat> I got a, other rims and stuff that come with these. So you get two WPL rims that the regular rubber tires go on to and then you can slide those onto here and the way that I design this here is when it's rolling forward it's actually tightening against the cap so if it were to go backwards and it would have a problem then is when the tire would come off but it's so tight you can't just take the tire off there's a little cap with threads and that cap actually threads on there and the cap's got threads in it and that holds the tires on and I'm gonna have a little tiny washer that's right before the cap so that the tire isn't actually hitting against the, the tire is full 3D printed. And I got other rims and stuff like that options that go for this I showed you but that's where the, how the tire actually goes on there. And the tire is easy to put on there. I mean it rolls on there real nice too once it's put together right. These trailers are pretty fun to build. Uh, pretty much everything I design is like a kit, so it goes together step by step. And I've went through and made uh, some other rails. See, there's your toolbox. I got a sliding door that'll go in the front, and then it slides up and then slides back down to close. And then it's got the tire. Uh, 
a piece that'll go on the side just like the toolbox, but it holds the tire, a spare tire. Now there is a, another one of the hitch pieces. Like I got a tongue and everything that slides on the front and it matches a ball receiver that I've made and everything for WPL trucks. I just have to get that on there. That's one thing I'm missing is the door for the toolbox and the front hitch. And then I gotta finish these pins and gray pins. All them pins don't have an end stop, so I gotta get that in there. And the way I've done that there is just by using a piece of the filament. You shove it through a little tiny hole that's on every one of them pins. So you can see on these little tiny guys here, they got the hole in there and that you could just shove a little piece through there and it stops it from backing out. And I've got all them holes on those pins set to certain depths and everything that's perfect for holding everything tight. And when I'm actually giving these here out I pretty much give them one of the hitch sets that I make I make the hitches for C14 and C24 so I pretty much make a bunch of those there and send with these that way they don't just get a trailer and have no clue how they're gonna hook it up to their truck pretty much you just throw everything on the truck that you already have and hook up the trailer and go I haven't actually had to make one of these here very much recently, but when I first released these, they sold like crazy. I'm on all sorts of crazy stuff. I got the other fenders and stuff. See these here, they're a little bit higher and it gives a little bit more wheel space in there, but you need that there for the rubber tires and stuff if you were to actually take them 3d printed tires off and put the rubber ones on there you would need a little bit more space between that fender and then I had a, another guy that wanted a lower front rail so we got new front rails that are way lower it lets some cars pull the front bumper all the way up over the front of this here and Got a bunch of cool stuff for it though. This is 116th again for WPO. And I got a bunch of pictures of them on the page if you scrolled back and looked back a little bit. Right on, thanks guys.